Hey everybody, it's time for another good word from God's word. And I'm excited about this, even though uh, last week I brought you from Matthew chapter 14. This is actually Matthew 15. I think I just said that in the comments that it was 14, but uh, it's actually 15. I'll have to fix that once we finish with the video. But the reason why I'm going through there is uh, actually we changed our plan. We were doing like a, a yearly plan. I was picking that out and I was sharing with the other pastors at Hope. Uh, but this time we're actually challenged people in September to read all of the gospels in a month. And that sounds like crazy, but it's really not. Uh, and if you look uh, on churchofhope.com or if you look at Church of Hope's uh, uh, page, you'll see an entire reading plan there. I'll probably drop that down in the comments once I'm done so you can see what that is. So, you know, even if you're far behind, we're only five days in so you can catch up. Uh, you know, just read four chapters instead of three chapters and you're there. So uh, this verse uh, is from Matthew chapter 15. It's uh, from uh, verse 21. And so what's happened is that Jesus has been teaching a lot. He's been teaching a lot of parables. He's been facing off with the Pharisees and he just needed a break. And so he actually goes to Tyre and Sidon, which is completely away from the Israelites. And so he didn't have to fight with anybody. He didn't have to argue with Pharisees chasing around. He just needed a break. And uh, that's, that's where he says in 21 and 22, it says, the Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon possessed and suffering terribly. Now, see, Jesus wanted a break. He was tired. I know yeah, everyone has been tired during this time. It's been extremely stressful. And Jesus was tired too. He, and so it said in verse 23, he did not answer a word, which seems kind of out of character for what we heard from Jesus, but he actually explains it why. And, and, and the disciples thought it too, because they continued. They said, so his disciples came and urged him, send her away for she keeps crying out after us. She's just bugging them to death. And the, um, Jesus responded in verse 24. He says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel, meaning he's only for the Jews. And the woman did not take no for an answer. She stood in front of him and said, Lord, help me. And he said, it's not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. And then she said, yes, it is, Lord, because even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. At this point, Jesus was completely impressed and shocked by her faith that was that she exhibited there and she said so he said to her woman you have great faith your request is granted and her daughter was healed at that moment here's what's great about that story is that one that woman had incredible faith but what i like to see from this is that jesus he said he only came for the israelites because most of the miracles that he did and most of the things he did was in Jerusalem, was in Israel, and for the Jews specifically. But here comes a Canaanite woman who says, I want you to do this. And can you please do this? And she said, I'll even take your crumbs. You see, Jesus didn't come just for the Jews. He didn't come. He's not just for those of us who believe in him. Jesus came for everyone. He came for every single person. And it's our job to go out and tell everyone about it. That's what we find out in Matthew 28 at the end, right before Jesus goes into heaven. He says, go into all the world and uh, preaching the gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. He's like, look, disciples, everything that you've learned so far, I want you to go and tell, teach that to everyone else. I want you to go spread the good news that I have come to seek and to save the lost. And it's our job to do that. And if we have the faith, like did that like that woman incredible things can happen for us that 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 child was saved because of what had happened that child was saved because of the woman's faith and so what we have to do is we have to go and tell everyone we can the good news of Jesus Christ that he came to he died on the cross for all of us so that we could be saved from our sins we could be saved from having to go to hell we can be saved and go and have a relationship with God. That's the whole reason why Jesus came. And that is an incredible reason. And that is why we worship him on Sunday morning. That's why we celebrate everything he's done. So that is today's good word from God's word. I hope you all have a wonderful week and we'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye.